Hello everybody, it is very nice to have you. In this video, we'll be taking a look at VS Code snippets and how they can help really accelerate your work because you configure them once and then you can always use them whenever you need them and they really save you a lot of time. Let's see how to configure those snippets in VS Code and I'll also show you a lot of examples along the way. Okay, so let's get right into it. So if you want custom snippets for your VS Code, the first thing you want to do is to configure them. And you can do that at File, Preferences, and then Configure User Snippets. And now you're faced with multiple options. So the first option is to configure the snippets just for the language you're currently writing in. So that would be the file you currently have selected. And then another option would be to have the snippets for all languages. That might make sense for snippets where the language doesn't really matter. And then the third option you have is to configure the snippets just for the current project you're in. So that would be regardless of the language you're using within that project, but just scope to the project you're in right now. So let us create a new global snippets file. And now we're prompted to enter a name. Let's call this one tutorial. And as you can see, there are a couple of instructions here, but we want to configure you know, completely new snippets. So let's do that. Every snippet that you configure first off goes with a name. So that might be, you know, print to console. And then we have an object behind that. And uh, we don't want suggestions from GitHub Copilot right now. Nope. Print to console. And then now what do we do inside here? Every snippet, as you can see in this file, consists of a prefix, a body and a description. So the prefix is when you type the when you type the prefix right here, um, like effect, and then the snippet comes up. So that's what this is for. The body is what the snippet will insert, and then the description is just for you. Um, you won't actually see that when inserting the snippet. So let's get rid of that and let's have the print to console snippet. That is just a description as well, so that won't get inserted with a snippet. So the prefix, we have to put that in quotes. Let's call it, um, yeah, just something like log as the body. Um, we can have the console.log. Let's leave this out for now. And let's insert something like hello. So that's just exactly what it's going to paste in when we uh, type log and then hit tab. And then as the description, we can have um, console log. That is just for you. Let's have a comma here. Save that. And whenever we type log now, you can see um, there are two because I have a VS Code extension installed. The one from us is print to console. So it would be this one, the first one. And when we click that or press tab, it will insert the console log. Hello. All right, that's our first snippet, pretty cool. But you know, that's just um, pretty much the most basic snippet you can have. There are actually a couple of very cool options you can insert here. Okay, so the first option we have is inserting tab stops. And we do that by typing the dollar symbol and then a number. And the number is important for the tab stop um, number. So that would be the first tab stop. And if we wanted to have a second one at the end of the line, then we would insert um, dollar sign two. And what that's going to do is whenever we type log and then press tab on the one we created, as you can see, the cursor is inside the parentheses because we have put the first tab stop here. And then whenever we type something in there, um, for example, hello, and then press tab again, as you can see, it's already slightly marked here. It's going to land at the second tab stop. Very similar to the tab stop is you can also have placeholders. So if you wrap the one, for example, in these curly braces, then put the, uh, what is it called in English? Like the double, double dots, I don't know. Uh, and then you can put whatever placeholder you want. So let's say like first, because it is the first tab stop, that is gonna be a placeholder. So let's take a look at how that looks in the editor, um, print to console. As you can see, it inserted the text first and it highlighted it. So whatever you type right now, it will just replace whatever you put as the um, placeholder. Sometimes it could be useful to have a list of options to choose from when inserting your snippet. 
So what you can do for that is remove the uh, like double dot in the first and insert the pipe symbol and then have like option one, comma, separate them, two, three, put another pipe symbol, save that. And as you can see, um, I already tried it out, it didn't work. Um, now it will work though. Uh, you have one and then you can choose from the list you've created uh, just by using the arrow keys and pressing tab, as easy as that. And whenever you press tab, you land at the second tab stop we have configured. Now, snippets can get way more complicated than that. For example, you could have snippets spanning across multiple lines. And I want to show you what that looks like. So for example, this snippet right here, the prefix is FC. So whenever we type FC, you can already see the snippet showing up here. And when we press enter, a whole lot is going to insert. And that is also based on the file name, for example. The first tab stop would be here, the second here. Um, so it just makes it very easy to initialize a component. I'm gonna put my file in the description. These are my favorite snippets I use all the time, just so you can have a basis if you're using TypeScript and React as well. What you can also do is something like format text. And for example, as you can see here, there's a capitalize. So what does that do? Let's go into here and type, what is the prefix for that? It's state. So whenever we type state, the the um, snippet will show up and then it's the first one we've created. Whenever we type something here like a hello and then watch what happens right here at this hello when we press enter, as you could see, it gets capitalized. So that that's just a little convenience you have while you're working. We can just uh, import this. Um, the second tab stop would be here so we can define the type like a string, for example, and then, you know, whatever would go into the state, like an empty string. Let's take a look at how that looks under the hood. So as you can see here, in like after the first tab stop we have, we've got a regular expression. So you can use regex inside of the snippets to select everything we typed, so the entire text. And then we're gonna, you know, just capitalize that same text. It's as easy as that. And you know, you can capitalize, you can um, go lowercase, you can go uppercase, camel case, Pascal case. There are a lot of options and there is actually a cheat sheet. So if you look at this, there are a lot of options. And for this snippet, I use the TM file name base. If you wanted to use something similar, then I would recommend checking out this document I linked in the description. And you can have like selected text, um, current line, current word. There is a lot of possibilities. If you wanted to insert something like line breaks, that is also very possible in the snippets. So for example, we want a console log of hello world in the first line. And then we want to go to the next line. How would we do that? Well, we can just type a comma and a comma is pretty much just a line break. And in the second line, we can have another console.log, which would say line two. Let's close that up and use the snippet. It's called log. And as you can see, it creates two console logs right under another. That is especially useful for inserting very complicated snippets like the one you see here. Well, I wouldn't say very complicated, but you know, a bit more than just the very simple ones. Um, you can just add line breaks using a comma and have way more useful snippets that way. Let's take a look at one more example. And it was one I found on Stack Overflow. But before I show you what it looks like under the hood and how it works, let's just take a look at what it does. So it's called test. And when we insert that, you can see an arrow. So let's type in hello and see what happens when we press tab. You can see the first one gets capitalized and the second one well, it stays like that, but if we typed um, if we typed it in uppercase, then it would be lowercase, you know? And how it works is pretty simple. So you have the first tab stop and the second tab stop. And as you oops, and as you can see when, when inserting it, it's called test, there are two tabs simultaneously. So whenever we type something, it gets typed at both ends. And that is because these tab stops are both number one. So the way it works is they get linked and you type at those two positions at the same exact time. And very similarly to the one I've showed you before, the state one, um, it's using regex, 
right here to select all the text that was typed in of the first um, tab stop. So in this case, that would be hello. And then in the first example, it converts the whole first tab stop. So whatever we typed in here to the uppercase. And then in the second example, it takes the first tab stop and converts it to downcase. Similarly, if you wanted like instead of downcase to capitalize it, that is no problem at all. Just change it right there. And then whenever you insert the snippet and type something like hello world, it wouldn't, you know, put it to uppercase like before, but capitalize it instead. And all that works using regex. I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you. I'm going to link my personal snippets. I'm going to link my personal snippets for TypeScript and React in the description. So you don't have to type them out. If you want to copy them, feel free to use them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.